Uh, the folks, this is Hulk Correct here, just doing an update on the uh, Thanatar uh, Calyx uh, giant robot, or however you want to call this thing. Uh, I've been working on it here for a while now, and as you can see here, uh, I got some of the work done on it. Uh, basically, I just got the uh, uh, base coats down and a good idea of how everything is supposed to go. Uh, where you see the uh, corn red is going to be a lot lighter, like my typical uh, Deptus Mechanicus Army force. And uh, here I'm going to go with a uh, cream white uh, helmeted area here where the, supposedly the brain is located. Um, I'm working on the yellow, putting layers in here after layers because yellow is very thin. And what I'm doing is, once I get the yellow completed, I'm going to put hazard stripes on the grav uh, uh, weapon that uh, pumps out a template, wave template, that does a nice little bit of damage. And then it also, when it gets into melee, it, it has like armor bane and haywired also, so... And it shoots down a template that has haywire. And as you can see, I got the weapon hopper feeder that's done up with its base coats. And then the uh, power claw along with the uh, big heavy weapon here. It's like a strength 6 AP3 uh, heavy bolter type thing. And then in the legs, the legs are pretty much, I'm going to do cream in the the center section there and then I'm going to bring everything else up into its usual uh, layers of red now I was talking to Heresy Productions over on his channel he's working on his goblins and uh, I just happened to you know he was working on it I was like you know what I have this guy right here this is my uh uh, what do they call it, the Arachnorok or something along that line? Uh, I can never pronounce the name, but it. this is my giant spider with all of its fun goodness that goes with my uh, goblin army that I have. And you know, the light doesn't do it justice here. A little harsh, maybe. Yeah, it's a little harsh. But, you know, just the way it is. One of these days, I'm going to actually take the time out of uh, just painting stuff and make myself a uh, paint booth or light booth. But uh, as you can see, I uh, it's not all completely assembled. And the reason for that is for storage purposes. This thing is huge. It sticks up and it just takes a massive box to put everything in. And I have, you got the shaman up top. For his option, come on. So you got the, the shaman up the top right there. Why is this thing not focusing? There we go. And then you got the catapult option with the flinger there. And originally, it's like you either have this option or you got that option. And when I built this thing, I put them both together on the same thing so you can not pay for the catapult but still have it it's easier that way now the uh, spider you can see with the uh, colors on here what i did was uh everything all these colors are with washes nothing but washes on here the only thing that i put a paintbrush and actually did detail were these eyeballs down here because you know doing a wash would have been really hard and what I did was is I painted the whole model of like a cream color white and then I put a uh, Drakenhof nightshade uh, shade down then I dry brushed a little more white lighter white over top of that and then I hit it with uh, Drucci purple wash and then that is how you get the different colors. And just how it depends on uh, what layers. And then all the uh, like the teeth-like things that 
stingers or whatever you want to call these things right here. The little thorns coming out. Horns or those were done with uh, Reichland flesh and oh, what was it? It's been like three years since I done this one. Let's see, Caraborn crimson. So Reichland flesh, Caraborn crimson, going over the white and just layering down layers of wash, and that gave me all of the different colorations on it. So there you go, and this comes off too. You can see underneath here the colors on there. So that's a completely done up with a uh, wash system. And then it just locks back into the little notches right there. So that is all the work I've done with this uh, giant spider for the uh, goblin army have. And I don't play fantasy anymore because for some reason GW decided... Oh, let's not uh, have a fantasy game anymore and totally get rid of fantasy out of our system. The game that uh, got everybody into our fantasy system is no longer there. Now, this is a, a Forge World, uh, uh, their greater demon, Vermin Lord from Forge World. And uh, this was for my Skaven army, which pretty much don't have hardly any of it left. Got rid of a lot of it. Still have, oh, I don't know, about 200 of the uh, little guys, the little warriors, but, you know, the slaves. But that is another model that is mostly done with washes and dry brushes and then more washes. And it's amazing what you can do just doing washes alone. And then I did... Uh, the stonework there with the warp stone, it's like warp stone glow and all that that goes into this model. So you don't have to be able to use a paintbrush as well as you think you do. You just have to know how to do a wash really good. And with washes, you can do some amazing work on the table. And somebody looks at that, like, man, you must have done hours work. You'd be surprised how little bit of work I put into these things. Sometimes, not work harder, work smarter. All right, this is Hulker X. You guys have a great day. Hulker X out.